Hey everybody, welcome back to Oddwood. I'm Evan, as always, for now, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, uh, we're going to touch on a little bit of a subject that's kind of near and dear to my heart. Um, Hans did a video on it a couple days ago, and, and I've had a couple of conversations with him and a couple other people about it. And it's, you know, the whole quality versus quantity. And I wanted to kind of take it a step further and, and talk about what you want to see in your work, what you want to send out in the world and what you want to be known for. Um, it's a pretty important thing when it comes to, to, you know, building your name and your reputation. And, you know, your integrity is a, is a huge, huge part of that. So, I mean, you can, my shop is, is full of things that I will absolutely not send out into the world. They will never live anywhere but here. I'm sure there's probably people in the world that think they're the greatest thing that's ever existed. I don't. I'm not happy with them. Uh, it's, I don't know where I said it. I made a hammer the other day. Um, oh, right here. It's my first hammer in the coal forge. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a four pound straight pin. Problem with it, and you, I don't know how well you can see it. The eye's a little wonky. It's a little fatter on one side, and I put some time into it and tried to correct it, and I couldn't get it to where I was happy with it. Therefore, it's going to live here. Um, I mean, and, and that goes along with anything. And I think, you know, it's a point of pride. And you should definitely be proud of your work and proud of what you do and what you're capable of. But beyond that, you want to show that pride and have that pride, that pride be shown by others. So things that are leaving your shop and going out, especially things that you're going to sell, they need to meet a certain standard. At least from my own viewpoint, this is my viewpoint. It doesn't have to mean anything to anybody else, but I'm putting it out there anyway. The big thing about blacksmithing and, and the way that I look at it, and this is something that I kind of took away from from a, a Roy rant, I guess. Uh, Roy said quite a while back, probably about a year ago, in one of his streams, he said, think about things in 100 years. You know, in 100 years, what matters? What's going to be here in, in 100 years? You know, we don't know. But the fact of the matter is, in 100 years, I'm not going to be. You know, my, my kids may or may not be here. You know, things are changing. People are living longer. Who knows? But my name probably isn't going to mean squat in 100 years. However, the things that you do, the things that you create, especially blacksmiths, if things are well made, they'll last well beyond 100 years. There's things that were made a thousand years ago that are still by blacksmiths and other craftsmen that are still in existence and they still, I mean, they have the potential to serve their purpose. I mean, most of them are in museums, but you, you get what I'm saying. And that goes right along, you know, back to that whole, you know, quality standard that you know, your own personal integrity in your work. 
you got to stop and think about, okay, in a hundred years, do I still want people looking at this? Is it, is it something I'm going to be proud of? Is it something I want people to see for for a hundred years, for generations to come? Is this what I want? You know, when people think of me, is this what I want them to see? Is this what they want, what I want them to think of? And um, that brings me to another subject. And, well, I, I guess a sidebar of that, that same subject, if you will. I'm at a point where I think I can do a lot better. And... This conversation, you know, carries a little bit of a heavy heart for me personally. Um, I love the YouTube community. There's been a lot of people that have helped me out and, and haven't asked for anything in return. There's a lot of great people. I've formed a lot of great relationships with people through the YouTube community. That being said, <laughs> I'm bowing out. I'm at a point where I feel like I need to focus on my craft, where I'm going with it, where I want to go with it. And Unfortunately, YouTube really doesn't play a role in that. So, I'm sure people have noticed I haven't I haven't been doing videos for a couple months now, and I didn't want to leave everybody hanging. I've I've got you know quite a few subscribers, not a lot, but I've got quite a few that are that are very loyal. And you guys always, you guys know who you are. I'm not going to name you out, but you guys, you're always very encouraging and very supportive. And I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. But what goes right along with that is you guys have kind of made me realize that I want to be better than I am. And that involves devoting a lot of time into things, you know, into the craft, into you know, the things that I'm making and expanding my horizons, you know, doing what I can to, to expand my skill set, expand my tooling, and get myself to a point where I'm capable and able to do bigger and better things. I want to take on bigger projects. I, I, I really want to venture more into the ornamental side of, of blacksmithing, um, particularly into, into architectural elements. Um, that's really what, what interests me. Um, you look at, you know, any old cathedral you know, any old, like, you know, a lot of, a lot of old government buildings and, and early colonial stuff is amazing. The work and the craftsmanship that went into it is just, to me at least, in my opinion, it's, it's out of this world. And it, you know, it kind of, it puts my mind in a place where I, that's where I want to be. That's where, you know, that's what I want to strive to do. So, in an effort not to leave you guys completely hanging and kind of let you know where I'm at, I'm going to be bowing out. I'm not, I'm not going to be taking down the channel or deleting anything or anything like that. I'm sure you guys will still see me in, in live streams from from time to time, I'll still try to watch a lot of your videos when I have the opportunity to. Um, 
I'm not one of those people that's going to set a playlist and just let it run while I'm not watching it. Just because that's not my character. If I'm interested and I want to watch it, I'm going to watch it. I'm not going to let it go just for runtime so you get your hours. I'm sorry, but that's just... That's me. Um... Yeah, <laughs> I tried to prepare myself for this, and apparently I'm not as prepared as I thought of, I was. It's been it's been a good little ride. It's been a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun doing it. I mean, the reason that I started you doing YouTube to begin with was basically just to kind of chronicle the timeline and, and my progress in in the craft, in the trade, if you will. And the more I did it, it kind of turned into like a popularity contest. And that's not the road that I wanted to take. That's not why I, that's not why I got into it. That's not why I was doing it. That's not why I am doing it. Regardless, it takes up a lot of time. And that's time that I think could be better spent advancing myself. I'm putting time into, into the craft, into, you know, the tiniest little things can make the biggest difference. So that's the path I'm choosing to take now. I don't expect this to be an inspiration or anything of that sort. Like I said, it's just this, that's from my heart. This is where I'm going and I wanted to make people aware of that. You know, anybody, you guys want to reach out, you know, talk to me, whatever, I'm, I'm still around. You can do it through YouTube. I'll still, I'll still check my messages. Um, I am a lot more active on Instagram. I still plan on posting. That's pretty quick and easy. You don't have to edit and try to be all PC and user friendly and all that garbage. Um, so my Instagram is at Oddwood Forge, all one word. It's pretty simple. Um, if anybody wants to contact me, you can contact me there. Um, yeah, that's basically all I've got to say. I mean, for I'm. It's inspiring seeing, I mean, for all intents and purposes, I'm, I'm, I'm a middle-aged man, and I've got three years into this crap. It's inspiring to see a lot of the younger guys that are coming up through that have that early start. And I just, I want to see you guys get so much better. And I'm not saying you can't do that through YouTube, but I can't do that through YouTube. It's really cool watching the videos and seeing you guys grow, though. That's, it's, it's awesome. A lot of you people have, have come leagues beyond where you were, and, and there's even more that are leagues beyond where I am, and I commend you all for everything that you've done. Um, but, you know, going right back to the point at hand... When it all boils down, I'm not happy with where I am, and I want to get better. I think that's a choice that eventually everybody's going to make. You know, and you say, you can only, you know, ask yourself the same question so many times before you actually have to answer. And uh, I came to the point where I've been thinking about it for, you know, a couple of months now, and and I don't think it's the answer, but I think it's. I think it's involved in that series of events. So that's that's the path that I'm choosing to take. I apologize to all of you for this probably just being one long rambling rant. Um, I'm sure there's probably people that are going to take offense to this and, and that's that's fine. It is what it is. It's my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. I'm not going to apologize. 
Uh, but yeah, that, that's where I'm going to leave it. Do your best. Give it your all. And there's always room for improvement. No matter how good you are. Just keep chugging along. Do what you do. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll be around. I'm not going to fade away. And every once in a while, who knows, I might still put out a video if, if I've got time to do it. But it's certainly not top priority at this point. So, without further ado, until the next time, I'm out. Y'all have a good one.